For years now, Wildy Slayer has been a sore spot in the wilderness. With better GP and XP being achieved using regular Slayer, the only purpose of Wildy Slay was to grind out some early Slayer points. Can the most recent update change that though? Let's find out. Before this video, I went from 82 to almost 85 Slayer, setting up a Willy specific block list and amassing a good pool of points. Starting the 10 hours off, I already had 98 Laren's keys saved up. We'll be opening all the keys at the end of this video, but I will obviously not be including the first 98 keys in the 10 hour price check. The reason why I decided to get to nearly 85 Slayer was so that I could unlock Abyssal Demons. This is the only area in the game now that allows you to kill Abyssal Demons with a cannon and it's still in multi so you can barrage them. I expect to make a good amount of money in this very spot. Let's get started. Okay, there we go. After spending nearly the entire cash stack, I was able to get Ancestral, and we are ready to start this 10 hours. In three, two, one, go. All right, that is this task done. And there we go. That is a huge task. See Engineer Alt, perhaps? And right away, we get a Ring of Wealth in View Scroll. It almost seems like Black Demons is more sought after. Ooh, hey, there we go. First Laren's Key of the 10 hours. Took longer than I expected, honestly, but we have our first one. Wow. So we do have people logging in there, huh? Interesting. Well, that's a little bit annoying. That guy's probably going to camp that spot too. We'll have to hop and get ourselves another cannon. It's a good thing I didn't do a double take on that one. I just decided to teleport instead of looking at him because if I did, I probably could have got teleblocked. There we go. 85 Slayer. Yep. You see, this is why it's so good, because they have to go up that ladder. He saw me, and now he decided to call a couple of his buddies to come on over. But since they got to go up that ladder, it's almost impossible for them to actually get off the TB. All right, and we are a little bit over an hour now. Currently sitting at 124,000 melee XP an hour in strength and 57,000 Slayer XP an hour. Not bad, considering we haven't had any bursting tasks yet. I really like what Jagex has done with these Blighted Super Restore and food drops. It makes it so you never have to leave your task unless a PKer comes or you just decide to, which is what everything should be like in the wilderness. I just killed all of them. I actually had downtime with four black demons. There's the max hit, 79. Really wish I could hit an 80, and I could do it too if I got myself full Torva, but yeah, no, I don't have the capital for that. I spent my entire bank just to get the Ancestral for this 10 hours. I did some damage calcs, full Torva would get you a max hit of 81, and it would give you a 3% increase in damage over Bandos Tassies and Fighter Torso. Glad to be out of there, let's hope we can get a Bursting task now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right back to the Black Demons we go. I've really got no problem with it. I'm astounded that I've only had one Laren's Key so far in all of these tasks, especially an entire Black Demons task. Hopefully we can swing the RNG around. So far, only two Laren's Keys. Usually you would be expected more than that by now. Ooh, very nice. It's supposed to be a one in 1,000 drop, I guess, but I've been getting them quite often. All right, if I get another Black Demon task, I think I'm going to skip it. Black Demons aren't bad, but... I'm not going to make a 10-hour video of Wildy Slay Cave Black Demons. Hey, there we go. Lesser Demons. That's a better one than Black Demons, although still worse than Graders. Hey, there we go. Already doing better. Two 79s and another Laren's Key. Come to Papa. Oh my god. We're really making up for the Laren's Keys now. Three keys and like 30 kills. There's the first Abyssal Demons task. Grab the Slaughters, grab the Ancestral, grab it all. All right, this is the gear setup. Let's go. Now you're probably wondering why I wouldn't be using the Thamarin staff. Well, unfortunately, it still doesn't autocast ancient magics, and I've tried to use it in Wildy Slayer before. You usually just end up misclicking and losing ticks on your staff. It's overall better to just use auto retaliate with a staff like this. Now, if the Thamarin staff does get auto cast on ancient magics, then yes, it will very much so be worth it. But again, it's not as big of an upgrade as something like the Vigorous Chain Mace or the Crossbow, as it's only a 25% increase in damage while the others are an increase in damage of 50%. But here we are. I've even labeled this before, even though I've never gotten this task. Let's see how this goes. Oh God, that's not good. Okay, so if you guys could quit teleporting me across the room, that'd be great. Okay, <laughs> that's just wonderful. Oh my god. So every time the cannon tags it, it usually teleports you over, which is not very nice. So yeah, it's going to hit this. Watch this. Yep. Oh, and that drags you all the way into 30 wildy too. I swear to god, if you guys teleport me and the exact tick of PKR comes in and tries to kill me, I will be so upset. 
Oh, that is, that's just not fair. This is how you get your sick kicks, Jagex. Teleporting me beyond 30 wild so I can't teleport when a PKer shows up. All right, we finally killed the superior. Get our Laren's key, guaranteed. Now, since Abyssal Demons do not aggro onto you, I really need to be watching out because there's not going to be a person running from this corridor. More than likely, if somebody's trying to PK here, they'll just be in this area. Yeah, I can already tell. If I die anywhere, it's going to be here. There we go, another Laren's key. And a Magic Short Bow in view scroll. Thank you. Hello, good sir. Yeah, I ain't even I ain't even sticking around for more than half a second seeing Arams in this place. Just over the three hour mark now, and we have 56,000 Slayer experience per hour so far. Hey, there we go, another Lorenz key. <laughs> another one, that's four. That's not even all the ones we've had on the task. I think we've had six total on this one task alone. Okay, Abyssal Demons, you're, you're, starting to, you're starting to rise up in the ranks here for me. Oh my God, another one. Oh man. That was a total of seven Laren's keys, and we're still at 56,000 Slayer experience an hour, 150,000 magic XP an hour, and we made 1.75 mil in the loot tracker, but 560k of that was in Abyssal Ashes. Come on now, don't burn through all my points. <laughs> Back to Abyssals we go. Hopefully this time we end up getting a whip. That'll do her. Another superior down, another Laren's key. Hey, there is another Laren's key. Don't mind if I do. Also, the Slayer XP per hour is still going up. We're at 58k XP per hour now. Hey, there we go. Magic Shore Bow and Bew Scroll. There we go. Laren's key again. Another Laren's key. There it is. No way. Right at the end of the task. Oh my god. Get it, please. Magic short bow scroll. This inventory is so huge. And there it is. Whoo! Well, that was a huge boost right at the end there. An abyssal whip. 2.4 million GP right at the end of the task. And we even got a magic short bow and use scroll too. XP per hour, almost at 60k an hour for Slayer XP, 59.1k at the four hour mark in. And we also were able to get 6.46 million GP on the loot tracker from that task. Greater Demons, there it is. Honestly, if you're uninterrupted here, you can get around 80k Slayer experience an hour. Pretty nice so far. Haven't seen a PKer for a while now. Amazingly, not a single Laren's Key. There's the Magic Shore Bow scroll. There you have it. 308 Greater Demons and not a single Laren's Key. I don't think I've ever had that when I was going from 82 to 85. Kind of unlucky, but no PKers, which was very lucky. What's in the looting bag? 682k and there actually was some room left over in the end there all right let's get a dust devil's task for once 85 lesser demons slayer xp per hour still at a very lovely 60k all right there's another task complete again no laren's keys unfortunately that's 95 wilderness slayer tasks also done so five more and we're gonna get a huge point boost and we're back to greater demons all right had the timer paused while I went and ate some food, and I just noticed that in 565 Greater Demon kills, we have had zero Laren's keys, and their drop rate is 1 in 81. Kind of insane. But then in 598 Abyssal Demons, we got 11 Laren's keys, and apparently, according to the wiki, their drop rate is almost the exact same. It's 1 in 79, and I don't think that's really true because Slayer monsters get a buff for Laren's keys without having the Slayer Cave incorporated into that. I've known this because before the Slayer Cave, one of the best places to go for Wildy Slayer was actually spiritual creatures because they were a Slayer creature, therefore they gave higher rates for Laren's keys. As you can see, Bloodvelds from the God Wars dungeon are a lower combat than Greater Demons, but they still have a higher Laren key drop operate, despite not even being in the Wildy Slay Cave. So I don't know if the wiki is calculating it or not, but I think Abyssal Demons have a higher drop rate of Larens than 1 in 79. There we go, another Magic Shore Bow Scroll. So if the loot tracker was correct, we are currently six or seven times drop rate on a Larens key from Greater Demons. Hopefully we break that dry streak soon. Oh, hey, very nice. First Trover Parchment of the 10 hours, 1.5 mil right away. That'll make up for the seven times drop rate on the Laren's Keys. Oh, there we go. Beautiful Laren's Key, breaking the 600 KC dry streak. Let's hope they start pouring in now. There's another Laren's Key. The dry streak is over. Well, there's the Trover Parchment and the two Laren's Keys. And now we're at 8.52 mil with 20 Laren's Keys received. Also, we just got another Laren's Key. Who in the right? What? Who is this man? 
Another task done. 96 wilderness task finished. Four more to go until the big boost. And with 420 left on the clock, we're at 59.2k XP per hour in Slayer. There we go. More Abyssal Demons. It looks like I'm not going to be able to do any Necreals or Dust Devils, but at least we got Abyssal Demons. That's good money. There we go. The first of the Laren's Keys. Another Magic Shore Bow and Bue Scroll. Laren's Key number three. All right. I have a completely full inventory there. 628k in the looting bag and some stuff in the inventory. Four Laren's Keys. Man. Uh, Debo? Debo? Really? I'm so confused. There we go. Another Laren's Key. Pick it up because there's probably somebody coming in two seconds. Oh my god, yes. Oh, look at that. Uh, pick it up before PK here comes. Oh, Abyssal Demons, please. Abyssal Demons, stop. Stop this. Stop. Oh, okay. You know, it serves me right for looking at it for any amount of time. It's just so nice seeing that orange man. You gotta understand. Two whips now at the very end of both tasks. And a magic short bow and... Oh, man. Three hours, 30 minutes left on the timer. We did lose a little bit of XP per hour in Slayer since we had to teleport so many times, but still at 58k at Slayer XP an hour. Ice Giants. Now, that's an actual, uh, you know, that's a half-decent task. It's sad to say, but I'll be skipping this task from this point forward. If they were to put more spawns in this area as well as increase the aggro range, then it would actually be pretty good. I mean, I'm only this far over, and this guy is still walking away from me because the aggro range is just that small. There we go. We go. More Abyssal Demons. I cannot... They're all the same waiting of five. Necreals, Dust Devils, Jellies, and Abyssal Demons are all awaiting of five. So getting four Abyssal Demons tasks in a row without getting the other ones is crazy. Hello, boys. I'm back. Well, there was... That was pretty quick. There... Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right, the back-to-back -back Laren's Keys. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I'll also take 86 Slayer. I didn't know I was about to get that. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> the third Abyssal Whip. Really hoping I don't die now. Yeah, that's a lure. Can I really pass up on a grimy Raynar weed, though? Oh god. Okay, I'm going for it. And there's a Laren's Key. Oh, please. Ab Abby's, please. Abby's? Oh my god, give me at least give me the key, man. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. We're good. But there is another Laren's Key. I think it's absolutely certain now that the wiki has to be wrong when it comes to the Larynx keys on the Slayer monsters. I mean, they're, they're dropping like crazy. There's no way it's 1 in 80. I currently have the same amount of Greater Demon kills as I have Abyssal Demon kills, but meanwhile I have 3 Larynx keys from Greater Demons and 20 Larynx keys from Abyssal Demons. Another Larynx key. Up to 6 now in just this task alone. Another Larynx key. There we go. In the looting bag we have... 3.1 mil. 2.5 of that coming from the Abyssal Whip. And seven Laren's Keys on top. Oh, I forgot to even mention, but that was also the hundredth task. So we get a point bonus of 625. And that brings us all the way up to above a thousand. Come on, can we finally get in a bursting task that is not skeleton? Okay. Ask and you shall receive. All right. Necreals. Now, this one has got to be the best for XP. And we can finally use Blighted Ice Axe instead of having to actually use our own runes. It only took seven and a half hours. Here's the first Laren's Key of many. I'm pretty sure my looting bag is already nearly full. And we are only... We still have 145 left to kill. We're not even halfway through the task. So that's the looting bag full. Still at 127 left to go. Interesting. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a PK -er at Necreals. Looting bag was about full anyways. All right, let's see if he's still there. <laughs> oh, this guy really, really wants me, huh? All right, well, looks like I'm gonna hop a world. Just about to the two hour mark, a quick checkup. I'm at 60.2 thousand Slayer XP an hour. We hit above the 60K mark again. By the way, if you're a PK, -er, I recommend not hopping in that spot right there. Hop over here. That spot right there is the best place that you can hop, at least for me. I don't really think anybody's going to be having their camera in, in this position. They're going to be having it towards the entrance over there. That didn't take long. Eight hours in so far and still haven't been PK'd yet. And I forgot to grab my cannon. I'm kind of an idiot. Oh, well. Greater Demons. 138. That's now 40 Laren's Keys on the 10 hours. Oh, no. There's the looting bag note. Same drop rate as the Trover Parchment. Ooh, I was a little bit slow on the teleport there. So we go ahead and pick up the cannon and we 
Oh my God. Thank goodness I had my carols on. I don't know if you got that off first or not. All right. It's getting a little bit more active. One hour, 12 minutes left. All right. There's that done. 321 greater demons killed. 133 jellies. All right. First time getting a jellies task. Nice. Oh my God. The double Laren's key drop. That is sexy. All right. Quick task finished there. We've got three Laren's keys. Want to get some good bursting in for the last part. There we go. 226 neck rails. This should take us to the end of the 10 hours. Let's go. Forgot to bring my proper tank gear here as well, but there's another Laren's key. Hey, Trover Parchment. Very nice. Just before the 10 hours are up. So we end up getting two in the 10 hours. Another Laren's key. Good. What's in that looting bag? 2.8 mil. Whew. There's the big boy. Been waiting to see this guy for a while. Now, thankfully, I have never had to teleport because a PKR showed up while a superior was here. If that happened, that would be very unfortunate. So let's hope it doesn't happen now. All right, there we go. What do we get? Rune square shield and a Laren's key. Oh my God, bro. Hey, Magic Torpo Scroll. Well, shoot, I would have liked that to have lasted the rest of the 10 hours, but we still got eight minutes to go. There we go. Dust Devils with eight minutes left in the 10 hours. We get a Dust Devils task. Forget it. Just go. Don't gear. Don't do nothing. Just get out of there. Seven minutes of Dusties. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. It is over. I don't think there's anything left on the ground I want to pick up. And honestly, I don't care to. No way, dude. <laughs> no shot. I was just considering on whether or not I wanted to pick up my cannon. Trover parchment. Do we count that? I don't know. Like it feels like we should count that. 10 hours finished. How many Laren's keys did we get? In the end, we end up getting, that's 56. We end up getting 56 Laren's keys in 10 hours, totaling to 154 from the 82 to 85 Slayer I did before this 10 hour video. At the end of the 10 hours, the XP rate ended up being 61,000 Slayer experience per hour. So we got the Ancestral on to catch a freeze and uh, walk under somebody and log out just in case somebody decides to come and get me. Also, I'm doing this on stream, so yeah, that's probably a terrible idea, but I don't care. Oh, uh, yeah, just drop a cerebro on the floor, I guess. <laughs> you can't be serious, bro. Yeah, that figures. Classic PP spooning on the Dagon High first chest. Why not? And the last one is 19 iron ore. That is the 56 keys done for the 10 hours. Now we do the remainder 98 that I got before the video. Oh my God, no, not another hat. Another Dagon High hat. Yes, we got it. Dagon High robe top. Oh, yes, indeedy. That's the big ticket item right there. It's almost five mil. Well, not really. It's 4.5 mil, basically. All right. Now I really want to get out of here. And the last one, it's gold ore. And in the looting bag, we have 19.7 mil, nearly 20 million GP. I'm going to go and sell all the stuff that I got from 10 hours of Willy Slayer first to get a solid cash stack, and then we'll mess with this looting bag here. And 
and we make 8.1 mil off of the whips from killing abyssal demons. 32 million GP total from 10 hours of Wilderness Slayer. Now, last thing we gotta do, calculate the costs. I end up using 21,000 cannonballs, 3.528 million coins. Now it's under 30 mil, but this is a big but here. I started this 10 hours with 150 super restores, and I got so many super restores that I finished in profit. 206.3, 715,000, we'll round that up to 716K. There's a couple more expenses. 13 stamina potions, 13 divine super combats. 228K, 230K, 90K, 320K in that. We'll all take 320K out. 800K, 556K, so that's 1.3 mil. Oh, wait, we can't forget the Vigora's Chain Mace charges. Almost forgot about that. We used 5,500 charges for that. 500, 775K. We got a little shafted on the Lyran's keys. We should have made about 10 mil, but it was around 1.5 mil less than that. But we end up leaving off at 2.7 million GP per hour for Wilderness Slayer. 61,000 Slayer experience per hour and 2.7 million GP per hour. That might not sound too crazy, but consider this. Cerberus is one of the best bosses in the Slayer skill to make money and XP. And even that boss only clocks in at 2.7 to 2.8 million GP per hour. The same as Wildy Slayer. But the difference here is that you only get 24,000 experience per hour killing Cerberus, and you can obviously only do it on task. Meanwhile, Wildy Slayer you can consistently keep doing. So if you're looking for a really good XP rate as well as money that competes with some endgame bossing, then Wildy Slayer may just be right for you. But you still have to risk. If I had hadn't brought out wieldy weapons or decent barraging gear, I wouldn't have made nearly as much GP per hour or XP per hour. But that aside, I'm pretty happy with the GP that was made today. I am Poison Potioner PP for short. If you'd like to check out a huge moneymaker that I made recently, you can check out this video. Or if you're new here and you'd like a comprehensive guide to the wieldy, you can check out this one. We'll see you next time.